Hi everyone, Dolly here with Crafty Mermaid Mom. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today I wanted to bring you a tutorial on how to make these little mini envelopes. I think these are called coin envelopes, but I started making these because I needed an envelope to fit into my pocket letters. And these envelopes are not just cute. They are so much fun to make, you guys. And the best part about it is they're very easy to make. So I had a friend ask me if I would do a tutorial and I told her I absolutely would. And I wanted to do this tutorial for a while now because I think these are like one of the most useful envelopes to use in your projects, especially for pocket letters because you can see all the goodies that you're gonna get or that you're gonna give. So I love making these. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Okay, so the first thing that you guys are gonna need is you are gonna need your sheets. You can use cardstock paper, you can use vellum paper, which I prefer to use, or you can use um, just regular weight paper, like this, for instance, is a regular weight paper. I like to use the vellum, like I said, because they're a lot more fun, but you can also take a project paper that matches your project and use that. In a cardstock, they are great. I love making these to match my projects whenever I need to stick one in a flip book or you know, if I wanted to stick one in a pocket letter and I want it to coordinate with the pocket letter. So anyway, here is the plain piece of paper that I'm going to take and what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna cut your sheets, okay? If you are planning to make more than one, you could probably do um, an assembly line job and cut several pieces. Like that's what I usually like to do is I'll cut several pieces at once. And you guys, I just use my leftover pieces of paper. You know, everybody has extra paper of all sizes and all shapes that you don't wanna throw away because it's a you know large enough piece of paper to save, but then at the same time, it's just sitting there because you never really know what to use it in. Well, this is the perfect thing to use it in. So. A lot of these remnants here are from projects that I did a while back and I just had a piece that was large enough to use for the envelope. So anyway, what you wanna do is you wanna take your paper and you wanna cut it and measure it out at three and a half by eight. So you're gonna cut at three and a half. So this is gonna measure three and a half this way. And then this is going to be at eight inches, okay? So you're gonna end up with a piece of paper that's Again, three and a half by eight inches, okay? So here's your piece of paper after you've cut it and you are gonna need a scoreboard. Of course, if you don't have a scoreboard, you could just measure half inches from the edge with a ruler, but it's really nice to have a scoreboard. So if you don't have a scoreboard already and you're a crafter, I would highly recommend you getting one because it'll make your life so much more easier. So, okay, so Let's go ahead and score at the half inch mark, okay? I like to turn my paper around because I like the indentation to be on the other side, okay? So here's the half inch mark. I'm going to score at half inch from one side, and then from the other side, I'm gonna score at half inch again, okay? And I'll bring it closer to the camera so that you guys can see where I just scored. So here you go, I did at the one inch, or I'm sorry, at the half inch here, and then half inch from the corner would be at three inches, but it's if you measure this, that's half an inch, okay? All right, so then you're gonna take your paper and you're gonna turn it around. And what you're gonna do is from this corner, you're gonna score at one inch, okay? And then you are gonna score at four and a half inches, okay? And that's all with the scoring, you guys. So you scored at one inch, and you scored at four and a half, okay? So you basically have all of your score lines done and I hope you guys can see it. Let me turn it around and see if you can see the score lines better. Not really, but let me give you an example. So I wish I had a pen and I would draw it out, but okay, so you have your score lines here and then here, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors now and you're gonna take the part that has your flap, because this is going to be your flap. Once you fold this score line right here, that's gonna be your flap. You're gonna take the edges and you are going to cut from this score line 
all of that edge off, okay? So I'm just gonna do it by hand. You could use a, um, you guys can use a paper cutter if you feel more comfortable doing it that way, but I just use choose to use my hands because it's easier and faster and really you won't be able to tell if it's crooked or not. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like after you cut those edges off. And then when you get to the part that has the score line in the middle, you're gonna cut at an angle because these are gonna be, the remaining portion is gonna be your flap and you don't want any part of that to show. Okay, so you're gonna cut again at an angle and this is what your paper is gonna look like now, okay? So now what you have are your remaining score lines for the other side, which is right here. You wanna go ahead and fold those in just like this, okay? All right. So now I have folded these two sides in and I have folded my flap, okay? So now before we glue, what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these two flaps onto this side to form your envelope. How cute, see? All right, so now what I wanna do before I do any gluing, I'm gonna go ahead and take my circle punch and punch out half the circle, okay? If you don't have a, a circle punch, that's fine, you could get creative and just cut it out with your hands. All right, so now I have the little opener portion here that you usually um, place your finger on to open up your envelope, okay? So now I can go ahead and glue this together and I just need to get my glue and glue both sides. And it's really simple, you guys. I don't know how easier it could be to make an envelope. So then you're gonna go ahead and glue both of those together. See how easy that is? Okay, and then when you close the flap, your envelope is finished, you guys. How easy was that? So if you want rounded edges on your flap, you can also get rounded edges on your flap. So let me show you an example of some of the other ones that I made that have the rounded edges. So see how cute? They're so simple to make and usually when I make these, I just do it in like an assembly line and I cut all of my um, three and a half by eight pieces of paper at once so that I can just continuously cut and glue and they're so easy, you guys. All of this paper right here is leftover paper that I really didn't know what to do with. And now I can just file these and anytime I have a project, I just go through all of my envelopes to see which one matches best and I can just use it and not have to stop at my project because I can just pull them out from my stash and you know pick the envelope size that I want. So, you know, I've made other types of envelopes too, other sizes, but these are using my envelope punch. So I like these ones just because if I don't have my envelope punch, it's so easy for me to just put one together really quickly. And again, I think that took all of a few minutes. So I would highly recommend making these so that you have them for your projects available and handy. So hopefully this video was useful to you guys and I really hope to see you guys creating these little mini envelopes for your project soon. So for now, have a great day and I'll talk with you soon. Bye.